Hello there, this is Holly with Let's Plan, making a tutorial video to show you how you would download and import a cover onto one of your digital planners. The screen you're seeing now is the PDF access page from my all um, and the whole shop bundle. If you have purchased planner covers separately, your PDF will look slightly different, but follow the steps, they will be the same. So at the very bottom of this page, you're going to see 80 stunning covers. I'm going to click on it. This will take me to Dropbox. I'm going to allow it to open. All of my files are stored in Dropbox. You will need to download the file onto your device and then upload it to your planner. So once we get to Dropbox, if you're getting any pop-up windows asking you to sign up for an account or get the app, do not do that. You only want to get to Dropbox.com. Now recently Dropbox changed their interface. I do not have a black download arrow or somewhere that tells me to download. You have to rotate your device if you are in the portrait mode. And then right here over on this side, you'll see that black arrow that indicates download. So you click on that. It's going to give me this pop-up window, which I do want. Click on the blue download. And then it's downloading that file onto my device. You can see the blue line working here. And this is a big file, so it may take a little bit depending on your um, download speeds or your internet speeds at your house. Once that is downloaded, I'm going to go over to my digital planning app and import the file. So I'm going to rotate back around because I like to work in the portrait mode. Give that a second. It has downloaded. I'm going over to GoodNotes, which is hosting all my digital files, digital planners. Give this a second to load. I'm going to find a planner that needs to have a cover on it. Oh, let me get back to my home page. So open up your planners. This one here does not have a planner cover on it. These do, so let me click on one. Let that open to the main page on that planner. If it does not open to your main page, what you wanna do is go back to the very first page of the planner. So hit your index, or you could actually hit the help um, tab. That is your first page of the planner. Once you're on this page, you're going to click the empty rectangle with the plus sign you're going to click on before because we want the planner cover before this page. And then we're going to click on import. That's going to open all the files on your device. Now you just downloaded that file um, and you will have to unzip it. Let me go to my downloads. Yeah, I unzipped mine. I don't know if you can faintly see that. So I had the zip file there. I unzipped it for the purpose of this video so you didn't have to wait while my file unzipped. You're going to unzip it and then give it a second. It will open up to a blue folder or a folder depending on your settings and go ahead and click on that folder. Give this a second because it's 80 cover, over 80 covers. It's going to take a second for them to pop up on your screen. As you can see, as I started to scroll through, some of them are already popping up. Once you see a cover that you would like to use on your planner, then you would go ahead and click on it. Like I like this one here, so I click on there. It gives me the blue check. I click on open and it's going to take it in and put it right before um, this page. So how I can check to see that it did that is I go to the home screen little button and there it is. So it moved my planner to the front because it was the first one I was working on. And now if I click on my planner with the cover, it's going to show me the page I left off on. But if I go back, there's my planner page. From here, you can click on your planner page and then go ahead and swipe to open to get to your first um, page of the planner. And then from here, it will all be hyperlinked. So that is how you add a cover to your planner. Um, it's very easy to do. You can switch out your covers. If you wanted to change your cover, you could go to these little four squares here and you can go to the arrow below the cover and you can put move to trash. Go ahead and click OK. And now if I close my planner, it's going to show it without the cover. And then you could go through and choose a different cover if you like to change those for seasonal or not. This would work in the same manner if you're using a different device or a different app. If you need help with the particular app you're using, you can head to YouTube. There are a million resources there, or you can message me and I can try to find a resource for you. Thank you for watching.